is here at Home and Homesteader down at the PC Eden Homestead. What you see here is the charge controller for the solar panel array up here at the RV. I had uh, pre-wired the first thing I had was some 10 base T. It's a four pair twisted pair, four twisted pair with 24 average watt gauge wire, average wire gauge, whatever that AWG means. Uh, first I did it with that. And then uh, I was afraid it wasn't getting good readings and carrying good power from the battery up here. So I'm going to do it with Romex uh, over to my two 12-volt batteries down here under the RV and up here to the charge controller. Uh, a homerific note on what to do. I uh, strung my wire through, followed the path of my original 10 base T with this here Romex. Uh, Romex, I think, is just a common name maybe for uh, one pair of wired black and white with the ground uh, this happens to be 12 gauge wire that I'm using to replace the t uh, four pairs of 24 wire gauge but anyway one thing I learned today I went outside first to do the hard part and uh, that's the part that's connected to the battery and so I wired this in while I was out there running that in. Uh, something I didn't think about, and you should always remember, unhook it from the battery before you cut this in. Got a little spark of rific in here. Uh, but as you can see, I just cut this off. I'm going to use my utility knife. I'm crunched down here in the corner where I'm wiring this. So I look even funnier than normal. <clears throat> so I use my uh, utility knife to cut back the outside now i've done some talking to horatio and vice bobby about uh if i should strip this back and separate the wires out or not and uh, they suggested just leaving it as is it's only about 10 feet of romex and uh so i'm leaving it all together uh what i am doing since i'm not using that ground i just have a positive and a negative on that on this because I'm using a battery 12 volts and I'm wrapping the ground around to keep that their outside insulation out of my way I was very blessed along my way to have picked up some wire strippers so I'm just gonna strip this off one of the things I had an issue with when I use this uh, four twisted pairs to uh, go into that charge controllers it had a screw down connector and those four twisted pairs didn't quite work right uh, when i take it apart they weren't holding underneath the screw very well when i take it apart i'll show you what i did was actually took a wire nut that had the uh had the metal part coming out of the inside there's a little metal part and many wire nuts uh, if I had a wire nut here handy, I'd show you. But I took that metal part that came out of the inside of another wire nut and I put it right on the end of these so that this screw down connector would work. It's the first time I've seen a screw down connector that didn't have a flat side on each side. But as you can see here, this little bit on the end bar may not be able to see very well. I took two pairs on each side. I put that wire nut around it. You can see this one better than the other where the screw pushed down in it. That gave me enough of a solid end. I don't need to take that off. That gave me enough of a solid end to uh, make sure that I had, I'm going to guess white is positive and black is negative i should go check that out i just gotta remember how it's wired i put the white to the red red was the hot so the white is positive and the black is negative i hope that's the way i'm gonna wire it in here and anyway i use those wire nuts so that these screw downs would work because i found those twisted pairs weren't solid enough to get a screw down on the original the end with the clamps that go out to the battery on that bit 
I simply, uh, it, they had already soldered something on the end. So now I got this hooked up to the charge controller. I'm gonna police out this here 10 base T, but what I was gonna show you, oh, one came off for me. But this little wire piece I used to screw down is simply the inside of a wire nut. I think on my way out, I'm gonna pick up a wire nut uh, as I go out to the battery and reclamp that up and make sure that we got the juice on there right. So, as I come out of the RV here, whoop, close the door because I got the heater on and it's finally getting warm. If you've seen my insulation video, uh, but here's a wire nut and down inside there, there's a little, little metal bit. You might not be able to see it, but that little metal bit, when I needed a solid end, didn't have a solder or a crimper or anything, I just put that and I screwed it directly onto, now here's the battery compartment. I screwed it onto the end of those four twisted pairs that I had twisted together. So I had enough solid uh, to screw that down. Now, as you can see, here's the positive cable. And you notice out here, I got the positive on the plus. I don't know if you can see that because I'm on the back side of the camera, but uh, it's red. And that reconfirms my suspicion that the red was the hot or the positive. Now we're gonna run back in and make sure that the charge controller is up and running and registering the electricity stored in those batteries. I hope I'm not saking you Mick, I mean making you sick. Going back and forth between these two locations. Back here in the RV, whoo, it's warm in my coats and all that jazz. So as you can see, on the charge controller, registering that we have 11.6 volts on the battery. I'll let you know it was up to 12.2. It's a sunny day out here in the tundra today. Uh, next thing I'm going to go after, I have a light in the back side where I insulated that seems to have a short every time I turn it on. It drops the uh, voltage way down on this here uh, uh, charge controller and uh, so that's the next thing I'm going to go after the first thing in the improvement was to replace this 10 base T cable with that there Romex I'm going to wrap everything up remember uh, I don't know the thing I might let Homer is loving learning life lessons living is uh to maybe use a uh, heavier wire gauge when I try to extend a solar panel um, battery cable. Next time I use some thinner gauge because it was what I had and uh, I don't think it was carrying the electricity good back and forth from the charge controller to the battery. And so that's my first improvement on the solar panel install. The next one I'll try and uh, videotape for you is going to be going after where I think there's a short. If I'm cognizant of it, I'll start with how it draws from the... I can tell it's drawn when I turn it on from the charge controller. And then maybe do a little bit about uh, what I... Maybe after I did it or during my doing, it, doing of it is looking for the short. Hope you're all doing well. Whatever it is you do today, wherever it is you go, I hope you find... Peace and happiness. Remember to like our videos. Uh, make sure and subscribe here to the Peace of Eden. And don't forget to share with your friends and families because they may like our antics and adventures too. Just saw you like an update on the solar panel improvements as we go along at RV. And also just saw you like an update on property.